This is Restoration Bible Church and Ministries. We are a people of excellence living purposefully. As you listen to God's servant, Reverend Dr. Tunde Balanta, we trust that God's word will work wonders in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jam those hands together for the Lord this morning, wherever you are. Jump them, jump them, jump them, jump them, jump them. I know how we feel because of His mercy that we are all here still. Hallelujah. Giving thanks for His mercies. Can somebody say with me, giving thanks for His mercies. We started in the first service along those lines, and I would like to continue. But to say to us this morning, giving of thanks for his mercies will steal the avenger and the enemy. Say with me, giving thanks for his mercies we steal the avenger and the enemy. Psalm chapter 8, verse 2. And then Psalm 136, 1 to 3. Let's start with Psalm 136, 1 to 3. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and for his mercy endure it forever. O oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endure it forever. O oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords for his mercy endure it forever. You see friends this morning the mercy of God, the word mercy and compassion means the same. It means to be full of eager yearning. It means to love tenderly, to pity, to be full of eager yearning. God yearns for you. Amen? I said God yearns for you. He is longing for you. There's a place in God's heart that only you can feel. Psalm 136 verse 16 and 18 in the Passion Translation. Psalm 139 verses 16 and 18 in the Passion Translation. Let's take a read or take a listen. You saw who you created me to be before I became me. Before I'd even seen the light of day, the number of days you planned for me were already recorded in your book. Every single moment you are thinking of me. How precious and wonderful to consider. And you cherish me constantly in your every thought. Oh God, your desire towards me are more than the grains of sand on every shore. When I awake each morning, you are still with me. You know, brothers and sisters, this morning, whatever the year has been to you, been for you, giving of thanks will steal the enemy and the avenger in your life. He said, every moment God is thinking about you. I don't even know how to explain that. I don't know how to understand that by myself. It's everything in my kokolua, in my brain, cannot fathom how God can think about me every minute. The day your, your husband says, I'm always thinking about you. In my sleep, I think about you. In the bathroom, I think about you. In the toilet, I think about you. The man don't kolo. Because anybody who sees it, he says, Josephine, 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 driving, Josephine, sitting down, Josephine, waka waka, Josephine. You say, Oga, let's go and see the psychiatric doctor or something. You are calling my name too much. But God is crazy about you. That's what I just read to you. He said, every moment is thinking about you. I, I, my, my mind is too small to even understand that. I don't know how to understand that. How a God can be thinking about me every moment. It, it doesn't, does it, do you understand it? I don't understand it, but I believe it. The next time the devil tells you, nobody loves you. Just say, devil, can you read? He said, every moment I am what? I'm thinking about you. 
devil tells you you are alone. Say, devil, can you read? Every moment is thinking about you. If somebody is thinking about you every moment, according to that passion translation, he says the, 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 his thoughts towards you are more than the sand. The way God writes his own book, I know you understand them. He could have said, are more than the sand on a seashore, singular, or one seashore. Why can you write on every? Put Prussian translation because they may think I'm making it up if you have it. That verse I just read, Psalm 139. I think it's verse 19. How can you be thinking of, how can your thoughts, how, 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 how can the thoughts you have towards somebody be more than every sand on every shore? Does that make sense? You are loved, my brother. You are loved, my sister. So whatever you are going through, he's also going through it. On every shore. His thoughts on every shore. Hallelujah. While we were worshiping God, I, was, I had a, you know, the Lord reminded me. When we were singing, um, um, Kaisa Yabo. Psalm 2, it's a, H2 says, Out of the mouth of babes and suckling, I see your dim praise. You, you know, when the eagle wants to kill a snake, it will use its talons and pick that snake up and fly very high. It will change altitude and atmosphere. Because the, the snake can't do much in the air and finish it off. When you are facing a spiritual battle, try to change the altitude. There's a level you will fly that the devil will say, I will suffocate here. When the incense begins to rise, demons begin to drop. I said, when the incense begins to rise, what happens? Demons begin to drop. I remember when we went to see Dr. Amama. You know, it was during COVID. He had gone to Abuja, and while he was there, suddenly, me, I don't know the medical jargon, the man was going to go to the toilet, and suddenly the leg would not move. The hand would not move. He could not crawl. Everything just became lame like this. I hadn't seen him. So one day I called... Uh, Pastor Gumbo and I called Dr. Praise. I said, listen, I want to go and see this, my son. Let me even just go and bless him. When we, when we got there, fear will catch person. They had to hold his hand. You know, the hand, done, the hand has done like this. The leg, too, don't do like that. They carried him out. He couldn't, he couldn't walk. He had to lift him, put him on a chair outside. I looked, I said, what kind of devil is this? Somebody uses two legs to go to Abuja. He comes back. You carry him, and the hand, don't, you don't do like this. Young man. I look, 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 look. We decided to take that serpent to a higher altitude. Kaisayabo. Yes, Kaisa Yabo. Yes, Asamadaka. Kaisa Yabo. Oh, Asamadaka. Baba. We kept worshiping. Sister said they're choking. When Paul and Silas were in prison, they, they went to another level. You have another level you can go. There's a rock that is higher. There's a level you can climb that the enemy cannot climb. We kept worshiping. As we are worshiping, I felt the current of the Holy Ghost. Brrr. It hit me. I think it was on the right hand. As Ogombo was standing. As he hits me, he hits him. I said, did you feel that? Thing? He said, touch him. If you stay near power, he go touch you too. Brr. I said, okay. He said, I said, okay, the power. You see, we, we worship that power down. 
You have to learn to change altitude for Satan. If they take you to customary courts, you can move to another court. If they take you to higher court, I think it's appeal that is next. You can go to appeal court. If they get, take you to appeal court, it no work. You go supreme court. If they take you to supreme court, no, you go heaven court. I say, Doctor Amama, get up. The wife said, Daddy, get up. Thank God for good wives. He said, Daddy, get up. And I move in the name of Jesus. We are still doing Kaisa Yabo. We are giving God his food. <laughs> Some of you may say, This December has come, sir. Things never balance. Kaisa Yabo. Yes. Some of you are wise, eh? Kaisa Yabo. Say that problem, I'm taking you higher. Asama. Asama. Baba Up, just stay where you are. There are some mountains that we only go down with the praises of God. Suddenly, the hand did like this. It began to move. It began to move. It began to move. It began to move. He came here. You saw him. A few weeks ago, he came back. He said, I've gone to the Abuja doctor. This is the file. He brought, I mean, Pastor Joy, I mean, who was with me, he said, they say there's nothing there. What if we didn't go higher with that situation? What if we didn't address the Supreme Court of the universe and give Baba what he needs? I'm trying to teach you how you can be self-sufficient in the crisis of life. He is mindful of you. You know, our children go to school. They're not at home. But the room they are inside before, we still call the, the same room by their name. Because they never leave our hearts. We are very precious to God. Sometimes in February this year, I was minding my own business. And I had a vision of a sister that used to be in this town, challenges in her place of work. So I had to get the husband's number. And then I called him. Say, I have a word for your wife. As I gave that word for the wife, God showed me. Now the man is not more in Kaduna. He was not even my member when he was here. You are so important to God. If God has to remove the highest authority, He will do it because of you. He said, because you are precious in my sight, I will give people for your life. Yes. Isaiah 43, 4, 5 down there, you find it there. As I was praying, God showed me a vision. I cannot share the vision with you. He told me what was wrong with the man and told me what to tell the wife to do. The man called me on Monday. He said, as I'm talking to you now, I'm giving a testimony. I am as fit as a fiddle. I want to tell you the God that you serve, he will move heaven and hell where you are concerned. So don't allow the circumstances around you to determine your joy. The Bible says in Isaiah 12, 3, it says, with joy you will draw water. He said, he that sits in heaven shall laugh. You go and ask the man for 10,000 naira and he's laughing. He says, ha, 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 and you are crying. It's an insult. Because the man is saying, your problem makes me to laugh. Your problem is making God to laugh. 
that delay in your life is making God to laugh. That thing you are waiting for is making God to laugh. Because God already has the answer to that situation. Before you came out of your mother's womb, he said, he knew you and he called you. Do you know you didn't exist when you came out of the womb? You were with God before you came out of the womb. I've been praying for people to have very cool babies. I, in fact, yesterday in Lagos, I was praying for a couple. And as I lay hands on the, on the, on the, on, on the wife, I saw two files in heaven with the name of their two children. So people think they have baby because they have sex. No, no, no. The sex is just the human parts. God will release the spirits from that place. Enter. Hallelujah to Jesus. Can somebody lift their hand and bless the Lord today? Just lift your hand and bless him. All right, praise God. Today is Thanksgiving. So we need to give thanks for his message. We need to give thanks. When you give thanks, he will steal the avenger. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Are you still with me, somebody? Let's go forward. Give thanks because your enemies have been made your honor guard. Your enemies have been made into your honor guard. In Exodus 14, verse... Um, we know this story from verse 15 to 22. Oh... Uh, Psalm 66, let me read Psalm 66, verse 8 to 13. Hallelujah. Psalm 23, verse 5. Write those scriptures down. Psalm 66, verse 8 says, Oh, bless our God, ye people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard, which holdeth our soul in life, and suffereth not our feet to be moved. For thou, O God, hast proved us. Thou hast tried us as silver is tried. Thou broughtest us into the night. Thou laidest affliction upon our loins. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through the fire. We went through. We didn't stay there. We went through. And through the waters. But thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. I will go to thy house with burnt offerings. And I will pay my vows. The children of Israel came to the Red Sea. And it looked like the end had come. I mean, they were delivered. You know, the Bible says affliction shall not arise a second time. If it shows up, God wants it to become extinct. God wants to wipe it away. If Pharaoh chases you the second time, that means say Pharaoh won't die with that. Hallelujah. They harassed you the first time in the office. God brought you out. The person is rising up again. Ah! You know, it's good for human beings to touch you. But if God touch person, you can go to a court and appeal. The, that other court, if you don't have Jesus, there's nothing you can do there. So Pharaoh came with his chariots. Let me read one verse there. Verse 22. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground. And the waters <laughs> were a wall unto them on the right hand and on their left hand. It has never happened before. You need to give thanks because God has turned your Red Sea to become your honor guard. Pharaoh said, if I don't kill them, the sea will kill them. Even if we just follow them, maybe they will run into water, they will drown. You can't go back, you can't go forward. Your back is against the wall, there's no forward movement, there's no backward movement. God said, Pharaoh, I hear you. Moses used the rod, used the word, and he struck it. It opened up. Abi? And they began to walk through the Red Sea. Pharaoh, interesting fellow with his people, water that has never opened up before, opened for the first time, and you entered. <laughs> it's like you get to your house and your dog says, hello, welcome. And nothing tells you that you are not supposed to be talking to a dog. I say, dog, how are you today? Can you see anything? You yourself don't begin to be that. You are talking with dog. You are gisting with dog. Pharaoh, water open. 
sensible person will say, okay, let's even see the people will enter, how they will come out. He said, no, 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 no. God is on my side. And he chased them. But the interesting thing for me this morning, plus the Pharaoh, the angels entered the water there. If you read it very well, the angels began to remove the wheels in motion. If angels can remove wheels in motion, it means that if your tire is about to bust on the road, an angel can hold the tire till you get to where you are going. It was going to work part. They were removing the wheels in motion. It means if a plane is in the air and something is about to happen, angels can do their work. One time I was flying a local airline into this city. The night before I saw a vision that it, it, it didn't make it. I prayed, and that's the first thing you should do. After I prayed, I had peace. Then I asked the Lord, I can easily book another flight now. <laughs> that is common sense. <laughs> the Lord said, I want you on that flight. How many of you will see Clive? <laughs> I see Amo. I get money to book another one. No? I pray, no. The Lord said, I want you on that flight. I said, ah. So I entered the flight. The thing was going well. If I told, I said, mm. That vision where I see self. Mm. As we are nearing to land, that vision where I see self. Mm. Ah, just as I said that to myself, suddenly the guy was coming in. Maybe he was coming in too fast and he tried to step on his brake or something. He just landed, crash landed, and he went into the grass and he was doing like this. Come and see people praying. <laughs> <laughs> Even people that were telling dirty jokes five minutes ago were calling Jesus. <laughs> I said, in the name of Jesus, you are not crashing. Angels are bearing you up. Angels are bearing you up. You are very important that God will send holy angels for you. Of course, it, it went okay. But what I'm saying is that the angels of God, they are more than one angel, one night, kill 185,000 people. Hallelujah. If you saw the way some people came out of that plane, eh? <laughs> as if it will happen again, now run. <laughs> it will come. You are looking good today. You didn't thank me for that compliment. I want you to stand. Uh, come, stand there. I can't remember your name. Come. You stand here. Let's imagine that this is the Red Sea. These two people are the Red Sea. And this is the red carpet. They are supposed to consume this guy. But the Bible says the water stood up. Read it. I think Sam said the water. I don't want to dirty your clothes. The water that was down there stood up. You know, when, every time you see two people like this, is an honor guard. I want to say you are here today because some things stood up. They were meant to consume you, but God said, uh, 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 stand up. This rest, you cannot walk on this boy because this boy has got blood on his head. When the blood of God is upon your head, I want to tell you that the highest altar has received blood on your head. And that blood is on the mercy seat in heaven. And because you are carrying the blood of God, they cannot kill God. Because they are taking the Passover before they enter that Red Sea. They had carried the life of God. They had carried the life of the Son of God. There was no sea that could consume them. As it was, they were moving through the Red Sea, the Red Sea stood at attention. I want to say prophetically to you, as this month is coming to an end, as this year is coming to an end, as we come into a new year, everything that devours life, that devours children, that devours health, this is how they are going to stand at attention. They are going to become and honor God for you in your journey, in your going out, in your coming in. I prophesy to you. I declare by the spirit of faith that everything that is killing people will stand at attention because you are a child of God because the highest sacrifice on the highest altar has been made for you. I declare over your children. I declare over your business. I declare over your family. They will not come near you only with your eyes 
eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. A thousand may fall by this side and ten thousand by the other side, but they will not come near you. You shall tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the works of the enemy and nothing shall by enemies touch you. Is there a believer? Somebody give him praise in the house of God. Hallelujah. Let's sit down for a bit. Glory to God. Don't forget that picture. When they say they are coming, say they will stand at attention. They say it's happening there. They will stand at attention. You cannot carry, can you trample on the blood of the Son of God again? It's not possible. That was Moses' mistake. That was Moses. If I, let, me, let me look at it. That was Moses' mistake. That was Moses' mistake. And God told him, if your name is Moses, it's meant to happen once. Hallelujah. It's meant to happen once. It cannot happen twice. Give thanks because, of Je because Jesus, our Passover, cannot be smitten again. Give thanks because Jesus, our Passover, cannot be smitten again. Therefore, you shall not be smitten again. 1 Corinthians 10, 4, Numbers 20, 10 to 13. 1 Corinthians 10, 4, Numbers 20, 10 to 13. And one more thought, and then we're ready to break bread. First Corinthians 10, 4 says, And did all drink the same spiritual drink? For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. Numbers 20, 10. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock. That rock was Christ. And he said unto them, Hear now ye rebels, must we fetch you water out of this rock? And Moses lifted up his hand, and with his rod he smote the rock twice. He smote the rock twice. And the water came out abundantly. And the congregation drank, and their beasts also. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, Because you believed me not to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, Therefore, you shall not bring this congregation into that land which I have given them. May I just, let's, let's put this together so you will understand. You, somebody will say, ah, is it, not only, is, it not only, is it not only a stone? You know, is it not only a stone? What is the big deal? He said the rock that followed them was Christ. The plan of God is that because Jesus is the highest sacrifice on the highest altar. He's the highest being with the highest name. All things were made by him. And without him, nothing was made that was made. That is the origin of life. That his sacrifice will be sufficient one time. So when Moses didn't know, he couldn't, he couldn't read, he, Moses couldn't read the book of Hebrews like we can read it. So he was angry and said, you, you, you rebels. Ah! Remember, in Exodus, it has been done before. He was doing it again. What, is, what does that mean? That one sacrifice of Jesus is more than sufficient. After, you, after Jesus was smitten, the next thing for us is to speak. He says, speak to the rock. He, was, he has been smitten. That's, that's it. The next thing is just for you to speak. He's been smitten. He cannot be smitten again. And the Bible says Jesus Christ died and he died no more in the epistles. So what is that problem? Remember the corn, the wine, and the oil. Jesus is our corn. is our wine. is our oil. Why do we say that? When you want to make bread, either wheat bread or corn bread, you make the flour. After you make the flour, you see women doing boxing. Abi, is there anybody who is a baker here? They'll be doing like this. Abi, am I not telling the truth? He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. Chastisement of our peace was upon him. The stripes that wounded him. We were healed. They, they will not stop there. They will put it into hot temperature. Jesus went to hot temperature, hell, for your sake. And they wouldn't do it a second time. Because heaven accepted the sacrifice. So... You are healed in Jesus' name. 
as you take that communion this morning, tell that high blood pressure, sugar, diabetes, whatever they call it, that he has been wounded. He has entered the oven of hell. You cannot stay here. I'm taking life this morning. I'm taking life this morning. I'm taking life this morning. Is our wine. When they take the grapes, what happened? They crush it. When they struck him on the cross, blood came out. Water came out. Is our oil. The olive oil, what happens? It also has to be crushed so that we can have the Holy Spirit. He took all those things so that we can have the Holy Spirit. That's another definition of corn, wine, and oil that you need to understand. And when we partake of bread this morning, I think I'll just go into that, you, you, you need to understand that, that we are partaking of his life, everything he paid for. You should break bread more often in your house. From time to time, when things are hard, gather your family and say, let's take this. Let's take that. And say, Jesus, we are tapping into what you did. Let strength come. When somebody say, do you like this? You to go communion table and do your own. And say, by the body of Jesus that was broken and bruised and battered, you cannot, de you cannot destroy my destiny. I don't came, care, Mr. Who they call you. God has died my death. I belong to the supreme council of heaven. Ephesians 2, he said, we were buried with him. We were raised up together with him, far above principalities and powers and dominion. He said, we are raised up together with him. He said, so that in the last day, it will make a show. He said, we will make a show. God wants you to use you as a show. As a show. When they were going through the Red Sea, it was a show. It was show time. All the fishes there, all the animals there, they say, hey, you never see this time before. Wonder, wonder. He say, ah, ah, see who, see food. When they are saying see food on the road, even if you are passing, they, they will be just be standing. They will not know what throws them because God is passing in you. They say, ah, ah. I say, we want to do, but we, we, the, the, we, something is just telling me I should allow this one to pass. Even the one that person will not know why you are passing. He something. He carries something. Baba, Sapa, you need to stand up. Baba. Stand up. Come. Just kneel down. I saw myself doing this earlier today. In the name of Jesus, Father, restore what he needs. 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 What he needs. In the name of Jesus. Uh, let me help you to stand up. Okay. The man is not young, but it's 80 something now. Abby? 78. 78. Clap for him. <laughs> you saw the way he moved? Even some of you that are 50 something, you are already doing like this. <laughs> See the way Baba moved like a soldier? He's an ex soldier. Stand up and let's break bread this morning. Hallelujah. Aka Akaya. Aka Giovanni. Mema. It's a stream that will never run dry. As you partake of this communion, this stream will never run dry. It's an eternal stream of life 
of provision, life that overcomes death, it will never run dry. Uh, sing it one more time. Aka Akaya Aka Jesus, we declare tonight that this eternal life will never run dry. We declare tonight, today, that your body was crushed, broken, pounded, put into the fire that ours will leave. We are not just doing a ceremony. Our families are partaking of life. They are partaking of life. Dear Jesus, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor for the corn, your body, the wine, your life. We thank you because you are crushed. You are wounded. You are bruised. Blood came out of you. Water came out of you. Like the grapes of the vine. You are crushed and life will come to us. Because you've already died our death over every member of this congregation. We are carrying your life. And as you are, so are we in this world. With every God they can see tatata. Going on in our world today, I declare over this congregation that your children will never be victims in the name of Jesus. Our homes will not be victims in the name of Jesus. I sprinkle the blood upon you as you go forth upon every family, upon every household, upon everybody under this commission as you go forth. You will live and not die. I sprinkle the blood over your money. That because the blood of Jesus is in your money, nobody can sit on it. It becomes too hot. What is owed you shall be paid in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for our children wherever they are. They are covered in your blood. Your blood is speaking for them. They are far from destruction. They are far from pandemic. They are far from terror. They are blessed going out and blessed coming in. Daddy will give you all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for listening to today's message. We know you were blessed. You can reach us through the following platforms. Restoration Ministries International on Facebook and Instagram. RBCM Online on Twitter, YouTube, and Mixella. Visit our website www.rbcmonline.org or Restoration Close, Romeo Extension, Kaduna, Nigeria. 